is where it ends. Hello everyone, bear with me. My glasses are filthy and I am not prepared for streaming at all. So, I'm sorry about this, my glasses, this isn't, this is a catastrophe. I, what is going on here? I can't, that is, God, I just can't see anything. It's smeared to buggery. This is bullshit. These are, I'm gonna, I'll be back. I need to deal with this. This is a great start for a stream, isn't it? This is bloody amazing. Glasses cleaning. Yes. Welcome to the live stream of the century. Also, don't mind me. I'm just getting a balance board out of this box. When I got this desk, it came, <laughs> it came with this, which is a yo-yo board. And this is not sponsored today. But you're supposed to balance, you're supposed to use it at these standing desks. You're supposed to balance on it. And then it's supposed to kind of, you can rock from side to side to give you something to do. Just feels a bit odd, to be honest. Um, we need to look at some floppy disks, don't we? So this disk, this is Water and View Pictures. Whatever the hell that is. No idea. My favorite part of these streams is you reacting to pictures that cannot be shown on Twitch. Most of them, Ben. Oh, we've got some pictures. PK on zip, water dot zip. I suspect they might be views and waterfalls on this occasion. That's nice, isn't it? Look at that. How many colors have we got here? Whoa, that's 102,686 on this machine. Hey, that's a nice view. <laughs> hey, I can't scroll too much because the computer can't really take it. This hay bale looks like that dog from that old uh, children of TV series. Let's look at view number two. Oh, look at this. This is the precursor to the Windows 95 desktop wallpaper. But it's got trees. Just lots of massive trees and a river. And the bank. That's quite nice. I love how you can see all the dithering. Look at this. Zoom into some of this dithering. I love dithering. It's amazing what concepts people came up with to trick the human eye. Look at that. Dither. Yes. Let's look at view number three. Any guesses for what this view would be? Tid tiddies? Maybe. Oh, it's that looks like the XP picture. This might be the original point at which Microsoft got the idea for the Windows XP wallpaper. This might be a huge copyright issue. Look at this. Very similar. Looks like the same sort of place. Waterfall. Any guesses? Man, it reads it so slowly. That, I mean, that is a heck of a waterfall. That's, I would, I would describe that as some sort of ravine. That's nice, bit of a rainbow going on. It's pretty. 96 was indeed a great year. Okay, so that floppy disk is done. That is nothing really that interesting. Let's move on to the next. We could do space pictures. We know what that will be. We can have a look at CompSys Diagnostics, or we can have a look at OutRun. What do we reckon? Vote! OutRun. Great. That's a tricky one. No idea what's on that disc. It's good to keep the mystery concept going, isn't it? I'm, I'm just, I'm just pressing, I'm just typing in the OutRun directory. Why don't we play a game? That would be good. Oh, here we go. PC speaker. <laughs> you, can, you can choose the outrun music on PC speaker. Yeah, let's have some magical sound, shall we? Let's go. All right. Oh, this is... 
This is ear piercing. Where's the traffic? I haven't played this version for so long. There's, there's, there's no traffic. Oh, we're in low gear still. Oh, there we go. That probably helps. Oh, here we go. Catching some traffic up now. Oh, yes. Oh, this is, this is it. This, oh, good God. Oh, God, imagine playing the arcade game and then going home on your PC and realising that Master System owners had a better game than you did. You paid a grand for your PC, sitting there with your monitor, your VGA screen, and your Master System mate walks in with his 60 quid Master System. And it's ten times better. This game is so boring that I'm not even bothering to look at the screen. All right, yeah. Okay, great. Very enjoyable. Well done. Okay. Let's go on to some more discs. Four discs down, making good progress. Okay, we've got the MS Entertainment Pack and Dynamic Link Libraries. We have screensavers. We have WinDOS version 1. So, peoples, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Which of these, which of these lovely discs do you want? Uh, WinDOS, yeah, I, I can't quite remember what WinDOS is either. Interestingly, it says at the bottom, it says copyright 1994. Five, P. Lee, which leads me to think this is some monstrosity that I've made. Can I have a Borndale chocolate? Yes, you can. There you go, my friend. What are you talking about? The program or one of its components is compressed. Use the MS DOS expand command. I'm just trying to open File Manager. What are you even going on about? <laughs> you were working fine a minute ago. Why do we have to have these discussions? Why are you like this? Can I just say, there's lots of stuff on this disc. All of it looks like Windows programs. Like we've got Ski, we've got Tetris. So I think this is a condensed version of the Windows Entertainment Pack. And uh, I don't think any of it's going to run because of the problems this computer is having. I mean, it doesn't sound good. I mean, it sounds like there's a virus going on because the hard disk is now grinding about twice as much as it was before. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it is possible that something like that has happened. Which is, it's a, it's a problem, especially when you're trying to preserve disks and you stick a virus on your computer. That is not useful. It runs! Yes! The screen looks scary, it's not ominous. This is glorious energy. Guest. Nasty! Right, Dr. Blackjack. Look at... I relate to Dr. Blackjack so much. Look at that face. Deal. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to play blackjack. It's been a while. Oh, Chips Challenge! What a game! Why is there a password for the first level? <laughs> so they may be just in case you want to go back to it. Oh, I remember this game. Collect chips to get past the chip socket. Use keys to open doors. Oh, yes. So incredibly simple in its premise, but so wonderfully compelling in its playability. Collecting the... I mean, this is just a, re a re real-life recreation of my life. Just collecting keys, collecting computer components, sticking them in a socket. It's just a nostalgia nerd simulator. Oh, God, there's... Oh, my God, you buggy bastards! is not necessary. Absolute enemies. Look at them screeching round there. What are they doing? 
What do they think they were? Oh, shit! This happens in real life as well. Especially in this office. Just never rent an office which is more than 500 years old. Never, never do that. Chips is not the same without the music. Where is the music? Yeah, you're right, that's better. Oh no, I've oh, fucked that one up, haven't I? Oh, oh, I've stood in some fire. Don't step in the fire without boots. I'll tell you what, let's go to a different game. I don't want, I don't want a card game. Jazz ball. This is another classic. Okay, now jazz ball is the one where you have to draw lines, isn't it? That's it. Come on, come on. It's easy. It's easy. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, nice. Rodent. Rodent looks suspiciously like Minesweeper. I mean, that cat seems to be advancing towards us. Oh, we have to we have to capture the cat, don't we? Oh shit! You can go sideways, you little bastard! I'm gonna catch. I'm gonna squish you, you little bastard. You are not. Are you not gonna escape this one? Are you? You are. Come on! It's not fair that he can get through little tiny gaps like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this until that cat is squished. Right, he's, he can't get out now. He's got nowhere to run. Ah, he's dead. He's turned into cheese. Is that what happens in real life? Now there's two cats. It's not fun being a rodent, is it? You kill one cat, two crop up. Entertainment. Uh, let's try... We know what ski is. The greatest... The greatest game ever, ever devised for Windows. Well, that's all right. That's not bad. Tetris. Oh, yes. Yes, the Microsoft version of Tetris. I'll be honest, it's, 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 it's the controls which are really throwing me. Anyway, we know how Tetris works, so I'm going to end Tetris. It's not bad, is it, this entertainment pack? You get quite a few... Things to keep you amused. I quite like it. That is the Microsoft Entertainment Pack, apparently. And I think the other files on the disc were some dynamic link library files. So that one is done. All right, move on. Now, if someone was asking about a Super Voice disc one and two, so let's find out exactly what that is. Super Voice, Pacific Image Communications, Inc. You need at least seven megabytes to install this. All righty. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, we've got Fax Viewer, Super Voice 2.2. Beautiful. We can open all these faxes. Look at that. It comes with a set of fax cover sheet templates. You can send a funky one. Do you want to invite someone to a party? Who, who's inviting people to parties with fax machines? A quick fax in a 90s style with bubble lettering. This is a nice one. I like this one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's like a funeral. That's what you'd receive with that one. Howdy, partner! Today, total, total stuff. What you called? Ah, oh, this is nice. Look at, we had fun in the 90s. Bullet holes on fax covering letters. Cowboy fax, nasty facts. You want some nasty? Oh, this is, this is, uh, this is professional. The accompanying pages were fax forward, transferred via super voice. Answer the phone. Oh, I used to have so much fun doing this. When I first connected my modem up, just on, just picking up the phone line using the modem was incredible. Like you'd hear the phone ringing through your computer, the phone idle, idle sound, and be like, look, look at this magic. 
I can do. And then you can hang it up and then pick it up again. You couldn't connect to the internet. That was far too expensive. But you could just hang the phone up and pick it up again. That was, oh, voice. You can record voice messages, can't you? You can have your phone. Yeah, yeah, I remember using this. I set this up so that the phone picked up. The computer picked up the phone and had prank ans uh, answering uh, loops playing. Oh, good times. Right, okay. Let's go on to some more discs, people. Vote in, please. We have this one. This one, this is really hard to place. This is Acticon Basic 2 and Windows 95 icons. Oh yeah, I can see those Amiga discs that someone mentioned earlier on now. We've got this disc which has says BTCMP, clock.fli, Star Trek and X-Files wave plows. We have all 3D, Doom Rand, Corncob 3D. What, what are we thinking? Oh, and also Image Naria, IQ Test and MS Info. Oh, with these discs you are spoiling us. Star Trek, yeah? Okay, we'll do Star Trek. So there's quite a few things on here. We've got an English basic file, which is nice. Mm. Welcome travelers to the land of evil and conflicts. You must complete this and then find a way to the other realm once you have completed that part. I think this is a program that I probably made myself. Press almost any key to continue. Ah, uh, I, I did make this. this is, I remember making this. You are in a corridor full of paintings of convicts. There, <laughs> there is a secret passage to your left and a door to your right. There is also a hole in the floor. You have four options. One, go down the secret passage. Two, go through the door. Three, go down the hole. Or four, use the stone. <laughs> Let's use the stone. Sorry, you don't have the means to use a stone. So, so I don't have that option then. Hole! You filthy bastards. It's all about holes with you. Go down the hole. You are in the hole. There is a scroll near your feet, and the hole goes further on. You can do four things. Can you romance the stone? Probably. There's probably something in incredibly obscure in this game. Pick up the girl, the scroll, and go further on. You suddenly lose your footing and drop all your cigarettes on the floor. <laughs> and as you stood, as you stoop down to pick them up, a seven foot tall red Indian. <laughs> red Indian tells you to step back three times. You do so and lose your footing and fall into the path of a waterfall. You are sent down into the water and die an extremely painful death. You have died and gone into an unknown realm, but scrolled past far quicker than it should have. Is a way, there is a way back that will bring you back through the way you came. You might have lost any of the objects that you hold, but they should still be there. As you have not respected life and given into it so easily, I will give you the task of trying to get out of the maze I have prepared. You might find it easy. No grammar, apparently. But the only way that will be is if you die. So go and hopefully for yourself, you will never return. Two options. Okay, all right, left it is. You are in a maze and there is two options, left and right. Um, pick up cigarettes. Yes, yes, it was something else. I Yes, we've managed to escape. Clearly, I still understand my 12-year-old mind. It, it's kind of funneling us down a specific route, isn't it? Not the kind of game where there's multiple endings. <laughs> you, go, you fall into a pit of snakes and you have two options. Try and climb out. Or two, stay and take the pain. <laughs> take the pain! Stay and take the pain. The snakes all start to sing, and then they all give you a lick of their favourite lollipop. 
a massive rock then falls on your head. What? Okay. It's a good game. I like it, don't get me wrong. But I think the easiest way to find out what happens here is probably to... Oh, there's an upstairs! Where, where you get overpowered by a gang of squatters and they thro throw you out of a window and you die. That sounds like a good part of the game. I tell you what, let's call that game done. 12 years old and on shrooms. Playfly is an animation program. I remember this. This was quite impressive for DOS. I used to just leave this running on my computer because it was... It just looked quite impressive. Okay, let's see what else we've got on here. We've got star.zip, pk on zip, star.zip, star. Okay, that's the Star Trek WAV file. This sounds like a uh, terms of service violation waiting to happen. That's that disc. So we move on to. Ah, this one, which is called Image Naria IQ Test and MS Info. Hmm. Desktop animations on, transition screens on, screensavers on. Okay. Oh, this is the nuts. You can have a car just cruising about on your screen and a police car wow uh transition screen there's a t-rex and then we've got an associate screensaver okay interesting Rex, T-Rex. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> Look, this is the associates. There's so much confusion. So clearly we've got some associates waiting for the carpool. This clearly isn't influenced by God. Something far worse. <laughs> I think you're just jealous, Matt, that you didn't watch this yourself. This is amazing. Oh, Johnny Castaway's coming and ruined it! Bloody hell! Okay, that's quite interesting. Do you really want to quit Imaginaria? Who would want to, honestly? Okay, we've got a couple more discs here. Couple more discs. Axicon, Icon Editor, Basic 2 for Gem, and Windows 95 icons. Axicon. Ax. Why can't I do? I type that. Axicon. All right. Okay. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, it's an Icon Editor. Oh, look at all these icons. That is glorious. I remember using these to customise Windows 3.1. Because there was, whenever you had DOS games under Windows, it would just give it that standard DOS window icon. But you could change the icon to something more appropriate. So I'd just go around giving, like, Doom an icon, like, like, like this. It's got a dedicated icon for Populous. Money bag, space rogue. You get all the Microsoft standard icons as well. 
This was one of my favorites. The three-dimensional three MS-DOS logo. Look at that. I caught my dad playing Tetris with nudie women, so I changed his icons to tits. There are some of those on here, I remember. There we go. Was it these ones? Twitch terms of service violation? Maybe not today, but in the future. This might be the last one of the stream, to be honest. We've got all 3D, Doom Rand, Corn Cop 3D, Exit Win, MSG, Icon. EW, and we'll try this to start with. EW Exec. About freeware. It doesn't really tell you much about it. Overview. EW Exec allows you to shut down Windows, run a specific DOS application, and have Windows restart. Oh, so this is... If you wanted to use Windows 3.1 as your go-to operating system when you boot the computer, but you wanted to exit the DOS to play games, it would do it automatically, which is nifty. So let's try MSG icon. MSG I message icon. Okay. MSG icon is shareware. This application replaces the standard icons of Windows with an animated icon. The animated icon is shown instead of a standard icon for nearly any application. Oh, that's cool. So it would replace, yeah, your all these different icons with something more interesting. Uh, what else did we have? Cheat, we've done that. All, so all 3D. On the face of it, it doesn't seem, oh, it makes the box, it makes the Windows 3D. So this was that era when Windows 95 was out and everyone was trying to make Windows 3.1 look like 95. So you'd run loads of utilities clogging up memory to make it look like it. Like, look at this. This looks like a Windows 95 dialog box now. And so does that. Add all 3D DC control panel. Add 3D effects to controls. Add 3D effects to the border. Change the background color. Fix static controls. Yeah, why not? So I guess, I guess we should end on that floppy disk. I guess we should end with some MIDI files, to be honest. We should end with a song. Ah, some Beethoven with bum notes included. Okay, everyone, it's been fun. Thanks for joining me on this reboot of uh, what's on my disc again. Um, thank you for the new followers, new subscribers, people who have just happened to be here. And I guess we'll do this again. I'm not going to say when, because whenever I go, oh, we'll do it next week. Never, that never happens. So we'll do it again in the future. Yeah, there we go. Okay, guys, um, lots of love, lots of blessings, lots of grace, lots of chocolate buttons. And I'll see you soon.